Hi, this is Paris from Epic Reviews Tech Channel and got the Windows 8 disk here. This is the enterprise version, but it's the released manufacturing version. Going to install it on the laptop here with the new Vertex 4 and see how long that takes. I've already done this with uh, Windows 7 and we've got those numbers in of the installation time and the um, boot up time. So let me zoom in here on what I'm doing. Put this disk in. Restart it. Bottleneck on this is going to be the speed of uh, the DVD it's installing from and uh, that pathway in. The hard drive is plenty fast, though there is a bottleneck there too because it's not a SATA 3 interface and the Vertex 4 can run much faster if you give it that much bandwidth. But I really think the slow part here is just the DVD drive. Okay, accept the defaults. Alright, agree to this. I'm going to do the customs install because it's a empty hard drive. I ran um, secure erase on it, so it's starting out completely new, no partitions, no anything. Here we go. Let's see how long this takes. All right, we're just over six minutes here, getting files ready for installation. I assume that's expanding files in Windows 7, the same sort of thing. It's uh, CPU dependent, and this is a couple year old laptop, dual core, normally running at 1.3 gigahertz. So that may be why that's not going so speedy. No, we picked up some speed here, seven minutes, 45 seconds. We're coming to the end of getting files ready for installation. Let's see how quickly it can run through the rest. All right, installing features. Finished with that. Installing updates. Finished with that. Finishing up. Let's have it restart. Don't need to wait the full 10 seconds. Should still have to create a user account and give the computer a name. Might want to test the video performance. Windows 7 always did that. And another reboot. Didn't tell us it was going to do that. Well, it's just teasing us now. There goes 10 minutes. Aha! Uh -huh. Find a color you well. I'd say this is about the point where we said the Windows 7 installation finished, so I'm going to call it at about 10 minutes as opposed to 14 minutes for the Windows 7 installation to get to this point, which is the point where you could put in the username and so forth. PC name, we'll call it Win8. I don't know what color. There, green. Wireless. We'll tell it to connect later. Um, about automatically getting updates. Protect your PC. Oh, do not track the new Internet Explorer feature to keep those beacons and cookies from following you around. All right, we'll tell it to use all that stuff. Now, use your favorite email address as a Microsoft account to sign into Windows. Well, everybody does have one. What if you don't want to give it to them? Oh, here we go. Sign in without a Microsoft account. Or maybe that we don't need to sign in at all. Let's see. No, we've got to do something. Sign in without a Microsoft account. Two options. <clears throat> you can do a Microsoft account. Signing into PCs with your email address lets you download apps from the Windows Store. Online content. Make your PC look and feel the same by syncing settings. Okay. Local account uh, means you have to create a username and account for each PC you use. You'll need a Microsoft account to download apps. You can set it up later. Your settings won't be synced. That's fine. 
He's looking for a basic user account. Will be Bob. I wonder if we can do it without any password. Yeah. Well, that certainly did take longer than Windows 7. More stuff you got to tell them about there. Hi. Oh, not done yet. Time for the movie slideshow. Move your mouse into any corner. Oh, it's the instructions on this Metro interface. So you move the mouse to the corner to bring up the toolbar. Okay. Well, there we go. There's the tiles. And I'll try moving it to the corner. Oh yeah. There's your stuff, your start, which is here. Uh, desktop, that's a good one. That looks a little more familiar. Can we personalize it and put the usual icons out there? Looks like we can. like to have those. Choose a theme. Theme. Hmm. That's all they give you. Go with Earth. I don't hear any sound. I'm thinking that the sound driver's not installed yet. Let's see. Well, we still got the same normal way to get to Device Manager. And my bet is we need to get one more driver for that to get sound going. But we do have a speaker icon. Um, uh, yeah, this is all correct. 1.3 gigahertz, dual core, 4 gigabytes of memory, 64-bit operating system. Well, that looks pretty similar to Windows 7. I like that. Start menu. No start menu. We've got Internet Explorer and the, the library here, but we don't have a start menu. I guess if you pause there and then click, well, that's as close as you're going to get, I guess, to start menu. All right. I'm going to shut it down and start it back up without the disk in there, without CD in, and see how long it takes to do a startup cold.